Welcome back, this is Captain Ron. Today we're gonna to have a, uh, a little suggestion for you uh, on the Auto Gyro models, the MTO Sport, the Calidus, and the Cavalon. They all have pneumatic systems for the pre-rotator, the rotor brake, and the trim system. And this air, the pneumatic system, the air in the pneumatic system has to be kept uh, pretty much free of moisture and dirt because you have a lot of small little micro valves and in, uh, in, in they get plugged up rather easy if you don't change what we're going to show you here is a filter dryer. Now this little filter dryer, uh, it, we've done a modification on this aircraft and we want to suggest what we've done and uh, the, the auto gyro it's the same identical filter dryer, but they've seemed to modify it. They've done a little machining here on one end and on this end, and then uh, added a little fitting for the hose that comes, that that's this hose goes on here like this. And this is the way the Auto Gyro manufactures this. Okay, and what we've decided to do because the price of the filters are, are very, very high. And you can buy the same filter on Amazon. In fact, all these fittings that are shown here uh, can be purchased either at a hydraulic shop or on Amazon uh, for a very low cost. And that's why we're doing this modification. Because this filter dryer, they recommend, especially in high uh, humidity areas, you need to change this probably about every 50 hours. And uh, so uh, it's, I like to change it more frequently because they're more inexpensive. If you buy them on Amazon, I think they're like $15. So this is the one, this is the filter dryer you get uh, before Autogyro modifies it. But we don't modify this, we keep the ends the same and we just purchased these special, not special fittings, but fittings that are available on the commercial market. And uh, that one's there, and it's the same fitting here. Oh, they, and then you have this fitting, swivel fitting, that goes in here. And then uh, this fitting that adapts to the line. This is the air compressor. It's a little tiny, air compressor but it does a great job and by the way the trim system the pneumatic systems on this these gyro planes are superb they're they're great they're they're trouble free as long as you can keep this filter dryer change frequently then you're good okay and then uh, another thing that that you prevent uh, if the the auto gyro uh, setup is where you, you actually thread the compressor line directly into the filter. Well, that compressor line has a little small seal. And, and, and once you keep reusing that, you're gonna possibly have a leak. So this, this modification eliminates that because you add this fitting here on and the only fittings you have to remove are these two off of these ends. Replace the filter, and you're good. Uh, there is a plastic line that goes from the air compressor, pumps the air through the filter, and by the way, there's a, a, a direction arrow here. So you wanna make sure you get that, the air, this end of the <laughs> filter dryer connected to the pump, the proper end. And then there's a special little filter uh, fitting here that this plastic line snaps in. That goes and feeds all the pneumatic systems in the, in the gyroplane. Okay, now I'll just give you an idea with my setup here. And by the way, each model, there's three models of course, the MTO Sport, Calidus, and Cavalon. They all have this dryer filter, but they're located in different locations on the aircraft. And the, the, this model, 2017, it is located obviously right here. And uh, it's pretty basic. 
it's easy to access and uh, changing the filter is, is a, you know, like 15 minutes you can get that done. So I change my filter very frequently and that just prevents, it's kind of a preventative maintenance for your pneumatic system. Okay, now we're gonna go on my website. I'm gonna show you how to get on the website and how to get to the download that shows all these parts in, and it gives you the specific names for all the different fittings and uh, therefore you can either use my website to order these parts on Amazon or like I said previously, you can go to a hydraulic shop. Okay, we're here uh, on my website. I brought it up on my TV so you'll, you'll see a better image of it. You go to my website, Ron Chiaro, and you, you go into downloads And uh, there we go, that's a lot better. And then downloads, you go to convert a standard filter dryer, right there, hit that. And now you have these different fittings that, it, that you need to buy. And they have all the, they got all the sizes that you need and the descriptions. And you just scroll down through there and actually there's a picture there. Now this is on the MTO Classic now, the 2010. It's, here's a kind of a picture of where it's installed on the console underneath between the rudder pedals and the dash. So that's there to help. And it gives you a little more information on the orientation of the fittings and the dryer. So hopefully this will be a big help to you um, and if you have any additional questions, uh, don't hesitate to email me at ronsharles at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching.